Hey, I'm Brandon from Brick and Mortar, and uh, I'm gonna show you our uh, torn vehicle, our van. But I want to just say something. This isn't really our van. Our real van died, and I carry around some pictures of it because when I get sad and lonely alone, you know, I just look at these, my friends. You know, it's really good because I get depressed a lot so I look at these uh, you can't really make it out I've looked at them so many times but uh, you know I just wanted you guys to see the real thing um, and this is a picture of Richie it's really detailed it looks good okay so I'm getting in here but the truth is I don't drive I just got my license back this year but I'm not allowed to drive the van because I'm a bad driver <laughs> John's not allowed to either because it's a rented van um, yeah, but that's John's he's spot the whole time John spots here, my spots there. Oh, yeah, uh, lots of silence. <laughs> or uh, sometimes, sometimes Joe Rogan, Joe or Rogan. another podcast. Old school Wu Tang. Uh, yeah, he did a Queen Day. That was nice. Yeah. I think he's gonna do a Peter Frampton Day for himself. Today even was Tim Tame and Paula Day. Even though he didn't like, uh, it was not Tame and Paula Day. Yeah. He listened to two Tame and Paula songs. There was twenty. <laughs> I was looking at the counter. It was twenty out of forty fucking Tame and Paula songs. So it's half a half day. Yeah. Every single this thing is, uh, in this van is meaningless to us. It's a new rented this. van. This is our tour manager's little good luck charm. Little fucking Flash guy. Yeah, he watches that terrible TV show Flash on the WB. He watches that. He actually watches that as a, as a fan. This is actually this man. is Feeney's medicine. Sometimes the boy gets wow, sick. We're getting nice and boring. <laughs> this is Feeney's medicine. And, uh... Else we got here. If you want to see where Richie lives, I'll take you over there real quick. A little bit more exciting than this. Oh, yeah, I am. It's a big old man. It's a big man, man. I've been holding this pose for 10 minutes. <laughs> and that's how Richie lives. He is. He never drives. Even though he could probably drive, he does a thing where he pretends he's enabled to not have to do extra stuff. It's a very good technique. You kids should use that. Anytime you're at a job, don't jump up to do the best job. Do the worst job, you won't have to do much. This is how I get comfortable. I do this, I got, this is Feeney's blanket, but he never uses it because he thinks I'm too dirty. Show me your eye mask. Uh, I'm gonna, but Richie's mom said I look like I smell bad, but I actually smell good. So that's why he doesn't want, <laughs> he doesn't want me, but I put this little eye mask on, and then I just like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I go like this. You know? And that's my thing. That's how I do it. That's how I go to sleep in the van. This is actually more comfortable for me, but our old van is so beat up that like, wh where I was, would just the bottom would heat up so hot, you'd like put your old food there and it heat it up, and it would like, <laughs> it would be so hot that it would like, I'd just wake up sweating. So this van is more comfortable, AC works and all that. Um, but for Richie, it sucks because there's this little tiny fucking baby seat. You know what I mean? Also, when we load everything in here, there's a bunch of jagged metal, like, uh, t-shirt racks that are right where Richie's feet are. <laughs> so yeah, it's terrible. Richie, uh, Richie got uh, Feeney kind of stopped short today at a light, and uh, a box of CDs hit Richie in the head today. Yeah. That's the other downside of being Richie. Well, we got a little Tupperware book. Just a Winnie the Pooh book. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> we got the Dow of Poo, we got, uh, no, so, doing a little research on, uh, some Eastern religions, doing a little research on the tarot, very nice. So basically you're just like a Wiccan. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to be narrating this, or? I don't know. He's got the whole Goosebumps collection and another bin underneath his seat. It also is. <laughs> well, we've been friends for a long time, so we fight a lot. I also love fucking with people, so I'm really annoying to be friends with. Yeah. I still love yeah. them, uh, but yeah. I have this little uh, funnel that I put my special green drink in my water I thought you were going to be like, with. I put my dick in it and I pee into <laughs> other bottles. <laughs> you're like, no. That's where I thought it was going to. But. <laughs> He also, I love how you're not telling anybody about this blue finger that you travel with. Oh, it's my pointer. It's your pointer. I would like to show you 
Well, you know, you gotta keep your area messy as fuck because then you'll never be clean. And if you're never clean, you're never worried. Well, I'm gonna show you, this is special. You find yourself out of clothes, got no more underwear left, and you're at the hotel and you don't wanna wear your pants. You don't wanna wear your shorts. And I was like, what do I do? Because I didn't get to do my clothes. And I realized that you could make a pair of your own underwear by taking a shirt, flip it, and it's got a nice exotic look, kind of like a little Sultan's. It's got a little ventilation. Well, it looks like a little, you know what I mean? Like, it feels good, it looks good. You got a duty hole to pull the back, you got a pee, -pee hole to pull the front. If you want to be a little more discreet, tie the tie the bottom so your boys don't see your junk or girls anyone could use it or whatever your pronoun is you can use it too so we sell our shirts as two things as shirts and as underwear <laughs> we don't but we should so you want to see the back the gear goes up to the very top we travel with as least amount of gear as we possibly can like small drum set, small bass amp, sampler, stuff like that. We don't have tons of gear as a band. A lot of props, really. And you just build up to the top, up to the point where it's dangerous for Richie and shit hits him in the head. Go thing. And as you can see, if you look straight ahead, if you look there, you can see the eyes of Richie peering at you and judging you from the back seat. And that's something that you normally see when you're in the van. So that's, <laughs> it's very nice. All right, so if you uh, if you like the underwear t-shirt pants, then uh, follow us at, uh, at Brick and Mortar. That's our handle for Twitter and for Instagram. Our Facebook is facebook.com slash brick and mortar official. And uh, we just put a new single out called All Alone. So, you know, if you want to help us out, request it at your radio stations, all that stuff. And we have an album coming out called Meta Meta, et cetera, and it comes out July 27th.